Hello there, it's Carl Welshman here with a beer review. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, I don't take this too fucking seriously. And I swear a bit. So already, if you're offended, switch the video off, move on. Otherwise, let's have a little taste of this beer then. <laughs> so this is my second beer of today. I've already had a, a tasty stout. Wasn't too strong, but it's, it's lubricated me a bit. So what we're looking at here is Big Hug Brewing Digital Dreams New England IPA coming in at 4.8%. I do like a New England IPA. A lot of text on the back here, so get yourself comfy. Maybe go and uh, pause the video and go get a dressing gown on and put some slippers on, all right? You're looking nice. See your testicles. I think they're testicles. Packed full of our favourite hops, Digital Dreams is that soft, fluffy, head in the clouds beer we've come to love. Oats and torrified wheat. I thought it said terrified. The fuck? I don't even know. What, what, what's torrified? Torrified wheat give the soft, fluffy mouthfeel while Citra and Simcoe are added in the whirlpool with a dry hop of a blend of Mosaic T90 and Mosaic cryo to give that fresh aroma of peach stone fruit and berry with a low to no bitter finish we are hobo brewers we don't own our own brewery but that's what makes us a little bit different that's our story following a dream building a community and working with like-minded people to help us do what we want to do hashtag hug life is our strap line but it's more than that it's our way of thinking and the way that we are the way that we try to live and enjoy our lives and channel that into everything that we do. That's nice. I like that little story. I like that. Got me right in my heart. I like that shit. Let's, uh, let's crack this open and have a taste. And I'm really hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this tastes as good as that little story there. Don't let me down. Oh, straight away, you see. New England IPA. It's, it's just one of my favourites. Wow, it's, it's, it smells a little sweeter than some of the New England IPAs I've had before. It smells, it smells nice. It smells really good. Looking for a nice cloudiness here. What we got? Look at that. No, it's not too cloudy, actually. I thought it would be cloudier. Or hazier, I should say. Uh, Smells great. Smells really good. Big thick head on that car. Well done, you dickhead. That is too thick a head. I'm, I'm just going to pause it here and let that head go down. The fucking head's not going anywhere. That's a robust head. I'm just going to go in straight for a taste. Getting all the tropics. Like I said, a little sweeter than uh, some of the IPAs or New England IPAs I've had before, but it smells really good. Not as hazy as I was expecting. I thought it'd be a bit hazier. You know, not opaque. I'm gonna shut the window here. Too many dickheads. Bloody ice cream fan now. Watch out for ice cream fans, because if there's a fucking clown driving them and then they start dragging the kids in and fucking eating them, then Jesus Christ, the whole bloody place has gone to shit. All right, let's have a taste. Fucking is clowns. Hmm. Oh. Oh dear. We got some chunks in there. Doesn't bother me. Really doesn't bother me at all, to be honest. I've had I've had chunkier as any frequent watchers of this channel will know of. I've had much chunkier. A little bit of sediment at the bottom. It's no props. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a good craft beer, you're gonna get a bit of sediment in there. So let's go on for another taste. Right off the back, right? It's mild. Very mild. But I don't think that I don't think that's a bad thing. It just makes it really fucking quaffable. Quaff quaffable. Drinkable. You can just knock that back, but it's a real mix of tropical flavours. But I would like I'd like a bit more. 
like it's indistinguishable. I mean, you, you, can, you know, you got your thing on the back here of bloody peach, stone fruit. Oh fuck, it's getting closer, guys. I'm gonna have to get this video done before the fucking Jesus Christ, like three clowns driving that thing. Um, yeah, do you know what it is? It's a peach. I'm not used to having a, a peachiness in there, and they're, they're right. There is definitely a fucking peachy flavour going on in there. Um, I think I think it's the sort of thing that you know, you've got the um, you've got the president of the United States around your house, and he's he's trying to play your PlayStation, and you're like, oh, come on, Biden. Leave the fucking PlayStation alone, and he's he's been sticking fucking bread in there. He's fucking trying to turn it on with the TV remote. He's trying to talk into the TV remote, make a phone call to his wife. He's going fucking crazy. He's like, oh, I'm really thirsty. I'm a really thirsty man. Have you got the fucking drink I can have? You're like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a drink. Next thing you know, you fucking accidentally left your kids unattended with him. He's fucking grabbing hold of them, telling stories how he, he likes the kids. And listen, before anyone jumps on this and goes, that's slanderous. Seriously, watch some of the videos. And I, I don't mean like, I don't mean like implying that he, he's doing anything he shouldn't with the kids. He's just often said in the past that he likes the children. Ah, I'm, I'm so for... And you're like, can you hear him in there now? He's like going, oh, you, you want a hug from your uncle? Biden. You're like, oh my god. Quickly grab this from the fucking kitchen, run into the room, pour out a glass. It's mild enough that it isn't going to destroy his taste buds and kill him. Fucking chuck that towards him. His hand is just on your child's face, but he just grabs the glass and he's like, drink that, Biden. He's like, oh, I'm no longer thirsty. Uh... Goes into a coma. Big Hug Brewing, Digital Dreams, New England IPA. I like you. You're all right. I'd like a, I don't know, just a, a bit of a stronger flavour. It says on there about taking the bitterness away and the fluffy mouthfeel. You're right, you got the fluffy mouthfeel in there. There isn't any bitterness, but I do like a little bit of bitterness in there. I like a bit of tang in my beer. And that's just a personal preference. So for me, from a personal preference, as a person that likes a full hit of tropical flavours, who likes a nice little tang at the end of it, this didn't give me that little tang, so you get yourself a 6 out of 10, all right? If you don't like a tang and you're New England IPAs and you just like something that you can just be necking nicely, that's the drink for you. Brrrr. <laughs>